What's going on, guys? Oh, voice so strained. Uh, team captain of uh, Gold 3 and Rocket League here, Gomer, with a fresh cut. Ooh we're, we're coming in hot today, baby. Uh, we have content today. We have a roster update. We have the uh, the everything under the kitchen sink, whatever the whatever the, it's called. Not exactly sure. Uh, we have for sure like 12 diamonds coming today. Uh, probably a big roster update and hopefully a, uh, a juicy schedule update. I know we're going to have uh, ranked seasons coming next week, uh, but what I know we have coming in a few seconds is you leaving a like down below. That would be oh so sweet. Like, like this black cherry vanilla bang. Not a sponsor, but oh, I wish it was. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well. And uh, let's go ahead and get down and dirty with a brand new day of content. Here we go. Uh, we'll start off with these packs here. I already know what cards are in it if you follow their Twitter, uh, but I don't know how good they're going to be. Here we have Sean Green. He's been out of the game uh, one year. They make us wait for something, something big. I get, we're going to have to wait for the servers. Uh, I see. Okay. I mean... So how's the weather we're having? Ah, yes. Okay. Expected. They got to start somebody in the community. Organize a money line each day. Will the servers go down <laughs> uh, when content hits? Maybe uh, put in a fat fucking parlay. Uh, the servers will go down. Uh, you won't get a card added to your collection. And... Uh, I don't know, you'll open 50 ball and it's a habit packs and not pull a single diamond. That'd be a big parlay. Actually, the odds would be quite... <laughs> the odds would be <laughs> pretty pretty easy for you to hit that, so not much profit room. It's kind of just expected at this point. Uh, third time's the charm, as they say, huh? I mean, this is exhilarating, really, but... Uh, seriously. How about that airline food, huh? Wow, this card's not good. Fuck. I don't know. I mean... The 60 contact against lefties just kind of kills it. Yeah, he has a lot of power both ways. Uh, he's going to kill right-handers, but a 96 overall. He's pretty good defensively. Good arm, good speed. Uh, really good speed. 85. He has a great swing for a lefty. Of course, uh, pretty big fan. Pretty big fetish of lefties it's not harming you so don't don't worry about it you know just because i think uh you know different strokes for different folks as they say huh but yeah uh, i mean it would be nice to have more contact against lefties because again if you guys aren't aware vision essentially is that outer cone which is going to bail you out if you are not on the pci what determines how big it is is your contact in uh I guess in comparison to your opponent's pitchers, uh, hit per nine and K per nine. That's what determines how big that PCI is. And if you're playing on, you know, even Hall of Fame, even All Star, it's not going to be that big, uh, you know, because if you're on All Star, if that's the level you play at, uh, it's kind of scaled, you know, in terms of PCI size, how good you are, how adept you are at hitting the ball with a PCI, how good you are at getting it. So. Here's Evan Longoria. This is a SIG card. I think he's got one of the past, but one might say, why not wait and see for his 2021 MVP card, huh? It's like an 890 OPS. Uh, I swear, there's something going on. There's something in the water out there in San Francisco, in Silicon Valley. There's no way that they have all these 30... Uh, uh, I was throwing off... He's not 23 anymore. That they have all these... Uh, you know, middle-aged, beer belly guys, Crawford, Posey, and Longoria. Longoria is having the best year since, like, 2012. This card is... This is more so what I'm talking about. He has a great swing this year, if you guys have used that 84, I want to say, in the TA1 gold pack. Uh, super balanced. This is what I'm looking for, man. This is a card I'm going to be going after. Uh, yes, I just did get chipper. He doesn't have any secondaries, uh, but I do think he'll probably still have high silver or gold defense at shortstop. Probably not second base, but shortstop, he'll still be playable. Uh, so Mauricio might get the bump to the bench, I'll be honest. Great power, great contact, 
great vision that's kind of a line you know kind of struck out a lot um but this is a great card the only downside i could possibly say here is you know 60 speed isn't fantastic but it's not too fucking bad either that's a great card fergie jenkins ferguson uh, he's gonna have a great pitch mix a sinker a fork ball which is a lot like a changeup if changeups weren't uh, as bad uh, <laughs> they're not always I, I suppose maybe they're uh, just bad when I throw them four seamer slider sinker curveball fork uh, fork ball 95 with the four seam 93 on the sinker very big drop off from the fork ball in the curveball Control, good on everything, 85 plus. Break, good on everything, 85 plus. Then he has fantastic per nines. This is definitely going to be a car that you guys might want to check out. Uh, yeah, good pitch mix, good control and everything. I could definitely see myself trying out this Ferguson Jenkins. Pretty good shit. Uh, here we have uh, a man who plays it by the book. You know, a straight edge. Ryan Braun. This is doable. Maxed against lefties with 71 speed. 102 and 78 splits against right-handers. You know, uh, did something enhance this, perhaps? Uh, you know, what did it cost him? People don't like... I don't know. Did people... I guess Milwaukeeans liked Brana. And it cost him a testicle. Was that worth an MVP award? Was it Ryan? Piece of shit. Those Kemp's. Uh, that completely demoralized Kemp. That ruined his career. This is a pretty good card. I mean, the defense is terrible. 64 and left. 66 and uh, 66 arm. 70 reaction. The reaction might save him a little. You're not going to want to put him in right. He is going to be otherworldly bad uh, if you do put him there. I'm talking Nelson Cruz in the World Series. Uh... Yeah, that's not a bad card. I mean, the power against righties isn't great, but 71 speed, and once you parallel that up, that's going to be above the 80 perceived threshold, which I'm not sure if that still counts. Aloy Jimenez, uh, great, uh, not con well, yeah, good contact, good power too. Uh, hot take there, 125 is not, not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, 69, a nice amount of vision, I suppose. Defense. Um, whenever I think of Aloy Amenez defensively, uh, the Christian Yelich inside the park home run just kind of comes to mind, where he just kind of <laughs> lies down on the net there in left field. 55 speed, uh, great swing. I, I don't know if I could actually play this card defensively, though, but uh, cool card. Going to be a really good one for Battle Royale. David Robertson, yep, four pitches. He is a two-seamer, not a four-seamer. Oh, that is, that is tough, that is tough, that is not very good. Wow. I'd have more control pissing with morning wood. Or <laughs> being like five vodka iced teas deep. This, uh, you're going to have a hard time hitting the broadside of a barn with this card. That being said, if you do, it's got a lot of breaks. So, <laughs> uh, you know. You might not wear, uh, not know where the pitch is going to go, but your opponent doesn't know either, which could play to your advantages. That's not a bad card. We're going to kind of have to speed through this here. Harmon Killebrew, uh, a lot of power, not much else. 32 speed, 61 fielding, 76 and 58 respectively in terms of contact. Uh, respectively, sir. Not a card I'm probably going to use, um, but Killebrew, Twins of Legend, always like that. Keiko, we'll kind of look at him quick here. A uh, lot of control as to be expected. Break uh, the four seamer, which is his fifth pitch. Uh, otherwise, he has a decent four pitch arsenal. He throws really slow, low, 91 on that four seamer. He has good per nines. I just don't really see that card being something that people are going to use. The Larkin, this one's never really fantastic. I mean, he has a lot of speed, good defense at shortstop, but there's, you know, a myriad of better picks due to team affinity that came out walter johnson uh i mean yeah i'll quickly that's all you need to know walter johnson uh might not be the best one to go after ron gidry here uh four pitches two breaking balls two fastballs this card is going to be batting practice if you've been struggling have a buddy hop into a play versus friends game and you'll probably get right back on track uh, this just doesn't look too good, in my opinion. Uh, I think we also have a player program to check out, which is going to be Juan Marichal. 
Again, probably a card that's not going to be fantastic for 9s, 80s across the board. Doesn't throw very hard. A junk baller through and through. Uh, a lot of control. That being said, not a whole lot of break. I just, again, don't think this card's going to be much more than uh, collection fodder. Then check out the roster update. See what's happening here. I imagine we're going to have a couple new diamond picks. Nelson Cruz, minus two. Did you not see him abuse the abuser last night? I disagree on that downgrade. Man, I wish the Twins weren't so fucking bad. <laughs> I went to the other game. Uh, Cattell does not get up. I get it, I guess. Uh, he'll get there. Don't uninvest on him, I wouldn't say. Yeah, it's just been, I don't want to say brutal, because he still walks a lot. Uh, but him and Bellinger, those struggles are only continuing this year, which kind of sucks. Uh, we have Correa getting a plus two, which I kind of anticipated. We have Bregman falling from grace. Uh, I mean... I was going to say I collected him yesterday. It doesn't really matter. He's going for like 7K. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, a bit tougher when you don't know what pitch is coming. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Astro fans. Urshela drops. Longoria gets plus two. Uh, we have Simeon getting a plus two to an 84 expected. A lot of people are going to be mad about this. I didn't think Albies was going to get it quite yet. That's just, I just didn't see it happening. Watch out for Gene Segura. He had a big walk-off uh, the other day against the Braves. Uh, we have uh, Matt Olsen getting a plus two. Yuli got it, okay. Uh, it was eventually going to happen. Uh, I agree with that one, I suppose. Abreu goes down again, okay. Jared Walsh gets a plus one. I imagine it's just going to be pitchers more so. Kimbrough gets a plus two. Devin Williams and Karen Check both go down. Thanks for this happening now when I just collected you piece of garbage uh suppose uh we have degrom going up to a 95 deserved of course we have gosman i love that lynn i love that glass now i love that uh zach wheeler i think he probably should have got it too i'll be honest i okay i suppose uh okay otani's getting closer uh strasburg falls all right Fair enough. So, a lot of starting pitchers is really what we got. Chris Bassett, that was a big one if you guys invested in on him. Uh, otherwise, for position players, not too crazy, but I don't think anybody really expected that outside of... Uh, well, Yuli got it. You were thinking maybe could tell Marte, maybe uh, Ozzy Albies were going to get it, but uh, the pitchers weren't more, show, uh, more so what got shown light on. So, super happy for Glass now, super happy for Gosman and uh, Zach Wheeler. I think they should have gave it to him as well. But uh, it's going to kind of do it for this one. Uh, I suppose we can look to see if the roster update or the schedule update is here. New event rank seasons, headliner pack, ah, everything that I could have told you was coming. Leave a like if you guys enjoy. As always, let me know if you guys are going to be cracking open some of those kitchen sink packs. And let me know if you guys hit big on any investments. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. Larry comes out. Yeats.